channel. Um, I am going to show you a really easy crock pot meal today. It is what I call a cheesy chicken Mexican casserole. <laughs> so it's basically you just dump two cans of Rotel, one can of black beans, you don't have to do mushrooms, I'm doing mushrooms, one or two cans of corn, um, some taco seasoning or chili seasoning, um, two bars, I think this is eight ounces of cream cheese. This one just happens to be fat free because it's what I got. And then one to two pounds of chicken. And you just dump it all in your crock pot. So I'm gonna show you guys how we do it. Absolutely love, love, love this meal. You can pair it with some Fritos, Tostitos, or nothing at all if you don't, if you wanna lay off the carbs. So let's see how it goes. So today is just a fun recipe video. I had VSG vertical sleeve gastrectomy, March 25th, 2019. Just to update you on my progress, I um, started at 312 pounds and I am now down to 255 pounds. I, my lowest was two, 254. I did put four pounds back on um, from the holidays, so I'm currently trying to take some of that off and then hit my next 50 pounds. <laughs> so um, that's where I'm at. But today we are going to just have fun with a yummy, yummy, healthy casserole. Okay guys, so now we're gonna mix everything in our crock pot. I have my handy dandy crock pot. You guys, I love my kitchen. It is so small. I love it, but it is so small. Do you guys have problems like that? Anybody else? <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna start dumping. I like to dump all my canned items first. So, ooh, look at that. I feel like I look so much bigger right now, but it's okay. We're gonna take some more weight off, right? So we're gonna dump all the juices in the cans in. So here's my corn. Here's my black beans. Um, and two cans of the Rotel. I like to get the mild. Um, this is definitely one of the flavor makers, guys. Can. See if you guys want to get closer. And see that yumminess so far. Okay. Now I'm going to do the cream cheese. So I really enjoy starting to learn some recipes. Simple as that, just dump it in. Um, and I put together a lot of really good recipes if anybody's just beginning their journey for pureed um, diet, pre-op diet, which I know there's not much option there. But if anybody's interested in going to my blog, which is bariatricmoms.com, there's all sorts of um, pureed, diet uh, things, uh, or blogs, sorry. Um, you know, I've got some items written about just accountability for yourself and things like that, what to do if you fall down and getting back up. Um, and then of course I'm gonna add this recipe on there. So I just wanna add more and more recipes. Um, but I definitely have some freebies on there right now if you guys wanna go and gobble up like some of the free calendars, some of the free recipes. So help yourself you guys because there's definitely going to be a lot of good content coming about like I'm going to offer like accountability coaching and things like that um, through my blog but right now it's just a lot of really fun freebies and fun conversations so go check it out okay and then my Instagram is also down below so now we're going to mix the taco seasoning I typically do the chili seasoning <laughs> I forgot to go get it and all I have is the tacos so we're doing taco today and as you can see I mean I've literally just been dumping everything in so now we're just going to add our chicken now this can be chicken breasts or it can be chicken tenderloins I decided to use what I had which was the tenderloins I put everything in just as it is. I'm gonna throw this away real quick. And let me wash my hands. So anyways, I put everything in and just dump it 
once the chicken has cooked all the way, I just shred it with a fork in here and mix everything up. So basically, uh, th this is, it's noon. This needs to cook about a good six hours to marry all of the flavors in real good. So I cook three hours on high because the um, cream cheese kind of curdles if you do six hours on high. So I do three hours on high, three hours on low, or two hours on low, one hour on warm. So I will show you guys how it progresses and shredding it up. And let me show you what it looks like real quick. So here it is. Yum, right? Appetizing. <laughs> Nothing like some good old raw chicken. <laughs> Anyways, so let's turn it on. Hi. We're going to leave it, guys. Leave, leave, leave. And I'm going to go do mom stuff. So I will check back in with you guys later and show you the progress. Okay, here we go. We are um, doing a little update. Obviously, all of the chicken is completely cooked. I'm not quite shredding it yet. I'm just mixing everything up. The um, cream cheese is not completely melted, so I'm kind of mixing it in with everything um, and just giving everything a toss and turning it down to low so that it can just pretty much simmer until we are ready to serve right before we serve is when I um, shred the chicken. All right, I have gone in and shredded the chicken. Look at this. Oh my gosh. That looks so freaking good. So I'm gonna plate this up and we'll take a taste. So I made this for my husband and I put some Tostito chips in it um, because I did not get the Fritos. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. You gotta try it.